Okay, Boss Dog here from Boss Dog Coin Rings. And right now we're going to search our 11th box of pennies this year. And these are customer rolled pennies. Uh, usually when I ask for customer rolled pennies, I get like two or three different kinds of rolls. This particular time, like all the pennies were rolled in the same kind of wrapper. So you never know what you're going to get. When you get customer rolled pennies, this could be someone like me searching pennies and turn them into the bank. But who knows? You won't know until we break them open and find out. So let's see what treasures are in this box and I'll bring you in with the first find. All right, second roll in. We have our first find and it's going to be a foreign. And let's see what that foreign is. One cent. Let's see here. Commonwealth of the Bahamas. That's kind of interesting. A flamingo. I've never I've never found one of these. Nineteen 95 Commonwealth of the Bahamas. I've never found one of these before, and it's one cent. Isn't that something? And I'm going to weigh this and see how much it weighs, but there you go. There's our first find of the box. We'll put him right there. Never seen one of them before. And we'll take a look here real quick and see if there's anything else in this roll. Nothing else in there? Let's keep hunting. Okay, ninth roll in. We have our first wheat scent. Looking right here at me. 1940. 1940 with a little crud on. Okay. One of the 40s. We'll put that right here. Okay, so they possibly may not have been hunted. Let's see here. Nothing else stands out. Okay, let's keep cracking them open. Okay, very next roll, the 10th roll, and we have a real nice toned Weedy that stands right out there. A nice tone wheat scent. Nineteen forty-nine. Let's take a look at him under the scope. Dirty. Nineteen forty-nine. That's been that's been in circulation a long time. Okay. 1940. That stood right out. The toning on him was beautiful. Let's see here. This customer roll. Wow, look at that blazer. 1986D. Wow. I'm going to keep him right up there. That might be a, an upgrade to my album. Wow, that's a beauty. Nothing else in here that stands right out. I'll take a look at each and every one of these coins real good, and let's keep hunting. Okay, 15th roll in, and our next find is something that you would not find in a bank rolled roll of pennies. I don't know what it is yet. I just know that it's a foreign, and there it is right there. It says one penny on it. And I'm not, I haven't turned it over yet. And I'm, I just noticed that it's much bigger than a penny. That would not be rolled up in a in a, in a bank rolled penny roll. This is These are customer rolled pennies that I'm going through. My second box of customer rolled pennies I've, I've ever searched. It says one penny. Nineteen eighty-five to Greg 
Elizabeth II. I'm going to have to look and see what that is. I've never seen I've never seen one like this. Obviously, it looks like. Well, I'll find out what it is. On the recap, I'll be able to tell you what it is. Queen Elizabeth. Okay, we'll put that right up there next to our, our second foreign. That's interesting. I'll find out all about that before the recap. Let's see if there's something else in here. Isn't that interesting? That's a nice one. Nothing else in here that stands out? Let's keep cracking them open. Okay, 19th roll in. And there's another real nice toned wheat penny. The fourth one from the end. I love these that are really toned. Let's see here. 1955. 1955 D. Dirty. I'll put it right next to that other dirty one we got. So now we got three wheat cents. We're 19 rolls in. Let's take a quick look and see if there's anything else here that just stands right out looking at us. Nothing else that stands out in this roll. We'll take a look at all of them real close and we'll keep cracking them open. Okay, roll number 32. And we have our fourth wheat scent. Not a very hot box here. But there it is right there. Nineteen fifty four D. Put him right there. Fourth wheat scent of this box of customer hand rolled. Pennies. Someone put a piece of potato chip in that one. Let's look here real quick here. Not a very hot box so far. Four wheat cents. Two forns. Okay. Let's keep cracking them open. Okay, roll number 40, customer hand roll. Roll number 40, and uh, because this, this box has been so cold, I'm gonna bring you in for this Canadian. I can see it right there. I haven't been bringing you in for the Canadian. There's a 1985 Canadian. I'll put that right there. And I'm gonna look through here real quick. See if there's anything else to stand out as here. Most uneventful box here so far. No. Oh. There's another Canadian. 1963, oh, that's a young head. 1963. How do you like that? Okay. Okay, well, there you go. Two two Canadians <laughs> in the same roll. All right. Ten rolls to go. Let's keep cracking them. Okay, open. roll number 42. And I see another foreign. And this in here is a Elizabeth... One penny. I've got to find out what these are. Those are different ones. They're different on the back. But I'll tell you what, when I come back in with a recap, I will be able to tell you what, what both of these are. I have no idea what that is. Elizabeth the Two, DG, FD... 2011, one penny. And this one here has 
Elizabeth, one penny. Nineteen eighty-five. Well, anyway, I'll find out exactly what those are at the recap, and I'll I'll let you know. And let's check here and see anything else in here. Wow, nothing else in this roll. Eight rolls to go. Let's finish this box up. Okay, all fifty rolls. Customer hand roll pennies searched. Uh, we have a few finds here. We got some uh, recap here. We got four, four S's, four S mints, a 1971 S, 1974 S, 1969 S, 1970 S. I've looked at that 1970 S. The small date, it, it is not the small date variety. Got four pennies from the 19, 1959s. You know why I like to keep them. It's the first year the memorial scent was made. Lincoln Memorial scent after the Wheaties. So I got two 1959 planes and two 1959Ds. I got five 2009s, five 2009s. We got two Canadians, two Canadians, 1985 and a 1963, a young head. So there, there's a nice little foreign fine in there. And I've got this blazer of a 1960D. Look how pretty that, a 1960D. I wonder how a brand new coin like that gets in circulation, but anyway. Got four wheat cents here. Uh, nothing real spectacular. 1940, 1949, 1955D, and uh, 1954D. And we got two, three, three other forms. We got one here from the Bahamas, Commonwealth of the Bahamas, 1995, one cent. First time I've ever gotten one of these. And these, these were in there. I had to look these up. These were the Elizabeth II. That's, there's a 19, put it up, put it underneath the scope here. 1985, one penny. 1985, one penny. And this one here is a same one, Elizabeth, 2011, one penny. They have different backs, but these are from the UK, United Kingdom. I looked them up, United Kingdom. So there you go. These were customer rolled. You know, you, you're, you just don't know what you're going to get when you have customer, when you get customer rolled coins to search. You can get lucky. Sometimes the customers will just uh, decide they want to get rid of the pennies they've been collecting, and they'll just roll up all their penny, their collection, and just dump them. You might get rolls and rolls of wheat cents, but this particular, these particular customer roll, they were all wrapped up in the same wrapper, which leads me to believe that somebody was uh, rolling up their piggy bank, basically rolling up their piggy bank. Uh, sometimes if you get customer rolls where I get five of one kind wrapper and 10 of another kind of wrapper, those are what I like because you never know what you're going to find there. Sometimes you can really get lucky, but these were all the same wrapper. So I'm just assuming someone wrapped up, uh, wrapped up their, their piggy bank and you wouldn't find these in bank roll because they're too big. They're a little bit bigger than a penny. They're big. They're bigger than a penny. So they wouldn't wrap up in a bank roll. So. And I don't, I don't know where they were from. I don't know how they got here in the United States. Uh, maybe, who knows? And this one here, this one here is the size of a penny. Commonwealth of the Bahamas. So anyway, we had three nice forms there, two Canadians. So all in all, this wasn't a bad customer roll penny hunt. Well, anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Please like, hit the notification button for future videos. 
Also, I'll leave a description. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description box below to my to my Etsy shop if you'd like to purchase some sort of coin ring. Take a look, see if there's something that you like. If you don't see something that you like, uh, go to any one of my listings and message me and tell me what kind of coin, what kind of ring you'd like, and I'll see if I can fix you up. Okay, this is Boss Dog Coin Rings. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, have a good day.